Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a collab for you guys with my cousin Merced and my girl Nayeli. So I'm gonna link their videos down below. And we decided to come up with the Valentine's Day look. And I wanted to do hearts, but some of you guys cannot do them. So I wanted to do something that will be easy for you guys to attempt. Don't forget to subscribe to them. And don't forget to subscribe to me and comment any questions you guys have, anything. Just comment down below. And if you guys want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so first thing is first. And I'm going to be putting my primer, e.l.f. primer. This is the shade Sheer. And I got this for $2. So. And this um is kind of dry. I don't know if it's just the product I got. I don't know, but I kind of have to apply a lot. So I'm going to just rub that in. And before I put my primer, I usually put concealer, my Shape Tape concealer, over my eyelids. And as you guys can tell, I already did my eyebrows. Because <sighs> it's so boring doing eyebrows on camera. I'm going to just grab my Beige Cosmetics blush. Uh, blush, what the heck? <clears throat> brush. My blending brush. And I hella forgot to wash my brushes yesterday. I'm going to be going into my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to be grabbing this shade right here. So I'm going to just kind of grab a lot of product. And I'm going to put that in my crease. So I'm going to just keep building it up. So now I'm just going to go into another palette and I'm going to be using this shade right here. And the reason I didn't do my foundation first is because this shade has fallout. And I do not want to have to do my foundation all over again because when I wipe it, it just gets worse. So I'm going to just add this on top of my eyelid. And these are so pigmented. They're creamy. I love it. So I'm going to show you guys on this side instead of showing you on this side first. And I'm going to be leaking into the mirror I have right here. You guys see that? So I'm going to just apply it, keep doing the same and then kind of blend some to the transition color to the transition shade and then i'm gonna go back and blend with the brush but this shade is better when you apply it with your finger you guys see how red my cheeks are from wiping all that that fallout so i know it looks crazy y'all and so unblended but trust me we're not done so now using the same brush i used before i'm gonna go into the same shade butter and I'm going to just kind of blend that together. And also, I'm going to put some product here towards the end so it won't look like that. So I'm just going to add some right there. And then I'm going to just blend this. And I'm not worried about this because when I put my foundation... And then I conceal, I conceal and I kind of make a line right here so this goes away. Just add a little bit more. And I was going to do a heart on my eyelid, but I do not have time for that right now. And if you guys, if the pigment starts going away, because every time I usually blend the transition shade and the other shade the pigment on the bottom shade starts going away so i do have to add more and so i'm gonna just add a little bit more but not a lot just a little bit like that and i'm gonna do the same to the other side i'm gonna just grab a brush that looks like this 
I think this is a pointed crease brush. I don't know. I use this for my brow highlight. So I'm going to just go in with this shade right here. It looks white, but it's actually... Oh, no. This shade. I'm going to go in with this shade. Just grab a little bit. And I'm going to apply this to my brow bone. Just to give it some highlight. And can you guys see that difference? So now I'm going to just go back with the blending brush with no product. And I'm going to just kind of blend this like that. And do the same to this side. I'm going to go ahead and start doing my face. And I'm not done with my eyes, but you guys will see why later. I'm going to use my baby skin primer because I feel like with the foundation I'm about to use, this looks way better. So now that I applied my primer... I just like to spray my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray just to kind of refresh my face and hydrate it. Now I'm going to just grab my sponge and just dab that in. And you guys see how the redness is going away again? <clears throat> I hate my skin sometimes. So... Now I'm going to just kind of dry it with my hands. And now I'm going to shake my foundation and I'm using the NYX Total Control Foundation. Oh, I hope I don't get my shirt dirty. So I'm going to just do two drops at a time. And I'm going to start dropping them over here. Oh, I forgot to do this. And I'm going to do one on my nose. So I'm going to just start blending that. Okay guys, so I'm not done with my face yet. And I haven't done this half. I just did this half. But let me show you guys real quick. With my foundation. So you guys see how my eyeshadow looks like this? So I'm going to kind of create a line. Where I think that... Oh, these dumb pimples where I think that I'm going to be doing my eyeliner. So, I'm going to start cutting this. Like that. I know I kind of did it too high, but you guys will see. I'm going to kind of thicken my eyeliner right there. So, it's going to cover that that I just took off. And I usually do the same thing with my concealer. So... That's it for my foundation, and usually I don't put a bunch because ugh, my nose is so itchy. I like just going back with my concealer, and so I don't really care if you can still see some some dark circles or whatever, because this makes everything better. So I'm going to just use my shape tape and just kind of create a triangle on both sides. And then I'll usually do a line right here, right here, right here, like that. And since I have a small forehead, I like to do these lines up here too to make it seem like my forehead is a little bigger. Face looks so white, but. I promise you guys it's not. I think, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I think I put too much concealer on my forehead. Airspun translucent powder. And I'm going to just set everywhere where I put the concealer. And I'm trying to open this. Usually while I'm letting my, my, I was going to say my setting spray. I'm so white. While I'm letting the powder sit on my face. And I'm not going to use my good one. So I'm going to go ahead and use the e.l.f. Pow powder, really. <laughs> the e.l.f. eyebrow gel. And it's this side. I'm going to just set my eyebrows. And look at this. It's so dirty. So I just like tapping it on the ends. And then brushing them through. 
And then I like to do this. Just brush my eyebrows upward. So now I'm going to just brush all this powder off my face. And it's so hard to see what I'm doing right now because my mirror is kind of far away from my face. So I feel like my foundation did not look the same like it usually does. And when I'm brushing the powder off my face, I just like to brush it through my whole face. So now that I'm done, I'm going to just go ahead and apply some bronzer real quick before I finish up my eyes. So I'm going to grab this fluffy brush and... I'm going to just grab my e.l.f. bronzer, and this one's really, really good. It's one of my favorites. And I'm going to just kind of create a circle right here, and then do it down. Grab my ombre blush from NYX, and with the same brush, I'm going to just kind of brush this off somewhere. So with that same brush, I'm going to just go into the darkest shade. And I'm going to just dab a little bit onto my cheekbone. Like that. I'm going to go and I'm going to keep doing my eyes now. So I'm not doing my face yet. I'm going to grab my next glitter. And this is the glitter primer. Isn't this cute? And I'm going to just put a little bit... Just a little dab like this, and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner of my eyes. I'm gonna be taking my holographic glitter from NYX. Isn't that cute? It matches the, the glitter primer. I'm gonna just grab a little bit and just put that in my inner corner. Like that, and just grab a little more. Oh, I kind of messed this up. So I'm going to do the same to the other side. Apply my eyeliner. And since that part's a little boring, I'm going to just do it off camera. I'm going to go in with my Lash Stiletto Mascara. Am I better than Sex Mascara? Just because this spreads my eyelashes and this gives it more volume. So now that I have my mascara on the top, I'm gonna, I didn't apply mascara at the bottom. It looks like I did because the mascara I applied at the top kind of got on the bottom. But first, I'm going to go in back with my Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to go in with this burgundy shade right here. I'm using this brush. So I'm going to just kind of grab some product like that. And I'm going to just smush that on my bottom eye. So I like starting towards the end. And then I kind of spread it downwards. And I just keep adding more, building it up. I'm done with the bottom of my eyes. And I know my makeup routine is like all over the place. Like first I do my eyes, then my face, then my eyes again. But it's just so it won't come messed up, you know? So everything just comes together. So next, since I think I'm done with my eyes. Oh, I just need to add mascara at the bottom. So I'm going to just go back in with the Lash Stiletto. Since this is, the tip is so small, I like just doing the tip on the bottom. Now that we're done with the eyes, and I wanted to do something really simple for you guys. Not anything hard that you guys can't do. Just in case you guys don't know what to do for Valentine's Day. You guys can recreate this look. So I'm trying to look for my stuff. I'm going to go in with this brush just because the other brush is dirty. And I'm going to just apply my highlight. And I'm going to use a, my new one because the other one is so cracked. So this is the Becca highlight in the shade Opal. And I'm going to just apply this right here. I like applying highlight down here. And on my cupid's bow with my finger though. 
and also with my finger I'll apply it to the tip of my nose and I don't like to bring it all the way straight down anymore so I just do it right here so my nose won't look that huge I just apply some highlight to my temples so basically everywhere I think we're done Oh, I'm going to do my lip gloss last. So I'm going to just go in with my Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And I'm almost out. And I love this because it makes my face feel so minty. So I'm going to just spray it. And this makes my face not look that nasty because before i apply this it looks kind of nasty so i'm gonna just go in with my a regular lip gloss from express and i've been more into using um like bold eyes and glossy lips lately just because um matte lips they get kind of annoying after a while for me because you know i like to switch it up So, now I'm going to go in with my Ultra Glossy Lip from the Laura Lee Collab. And this is from ColourPop, the shade Wham. So, this is how it looks like. And I think this is better if you use it as a lip topper just because it's too shiny. So, I just dab like at least four dots on the bottom. And then I just do that. So well, that is it for today you guys and I'll be posting Merced and Beauty by Nayeli's link down below their video so don't forget to subscribe to them and go check out their channel and I hope you guys like this and I hope it works for you guys that you guys could actually attempt to do this look and don't forget to subscribe you guys thank you for watching bye